Hey everybody, I'm Chef AJ and welcome to Healthy Living. You know, healthy living starts with healthy eating. So today I'm going to show you some delicious, healthy recipes that will help you to look and feel your best. Joining me in the kitchen today is Wendy Solganic from the popular blog, Healthy Girls Kitchen. Wendy has already lost over 30 pounds following my Ultimate Weight Loss program, and she's gonna show you one of the recipes that helped her do that. It's her quinoa and butternut squash chili made in the Instant Pot electric pressure cooker. I'm gonna show you my famous oven roasted ratatouille that helped me lose almost 50 pounds on the Ultimate Weight Loss program, but don't forget dessert. We're gonna make a delicious homemade peach ice cream with no dairy, no sugar, all the flavor, but none of the guilt. So please join me in the kitchen and let's get cooking. So Wendy, I'm so excited to have you on Healthy Living. You came all the way from the East Coast just to be on this show, so thank you. And I am so excited to be here. AJ, you have totally oh. changed my life for the better, and I'm honored to oh, be here today you with you. Thank you look amazing. You look absolutely I, Better amazing. than I look amazing, you I feel right. amazing. So how, how much weight have you lost now in the Ultimate Weight Loss Program? So I have lost a total of 32 pounds in about eight months That's fantastic. on Ultimate Weight Loss. And um, it's still going. It's still oh, going. Oh, it's definitely still going. Uh, it's, it's slow and steady at this point. And that's the best way. The best way. And more important than any weight loss is the way that my brain feels from being on Ultimate Weight Loss. Right, right. Oh, thank you so much. You're just a wonderful student. And you're a wonderful chef. I, that's how we met was because of your popular blog, yes, Healthy Girls Kitchen. I do totally love to cook. Wendy had blogged one of my recipes that we made on a previous episode, uh, Hail to the Kale Salad, and then I found it online, and I'm like, hey, how you doing? We became friends. I visited yep. you at your house. You visited me at my house. I love your recipes because regular people eat your food. You don't have to be vegan, vegetarian. You don't even have to be healthy. Your food is delicious. It doesn't matter what your diet style. Thank you. I love yep. to entertain, so I'm always thinking when I'm making a recipe, is this going to appeal to a large number of people? Right, right. And you have three kids, and I, I would say yep. most of your recipes they like. You know, it's very challenging yeah. with children. Um, I definitely have one child who loves, loves, loves everything that I make, and then the other two, they're, right. they're still a little bit young to right. have some of the sophisticated flavors that I use when I cook. Well, I love your food, and I love this recipe, so tell us what it is and show us how to make it. So this is a butternut squash and quinoa chili, and it is extremely easy to yep. make, especially using an Instant Pot. Do you um, have an Instant Pot at home? I do. I, I do have an Instant it. Pot. Yeah. I use it multiple times a day. Yep. Um, I use it in the morning oftentimes to cook my vegetables for breakfast, which we'll talk about later. Um, and then I use it pretty much every night to make dinner, right. so a soup or a stew. Right. It, it's, uh, what I love about the Instant Pot is my very first pressure cooker had a, had a nonstick insert. And I was okay with it, but because I teach cooking professionally, there are so many people nowadays with information coming out, and they're worried about eating from nonstick. So I love the Instant Pot because it has stainless steel insert, number one. And because it's electric, instead of stovetop, you can, you know, I can get home from work late, put these ingredients in, push the button, I can take a bath, I can walk my dog, I'm not keeping the oven on, and it saves, it saves money, it saves time, it replaces so many appliances. I don't need a rice cooker anymore, mm -hmm. I don't need a yogurt maker anymore, it sautés, yeah. it steams, it's like really like seven appliances in yeah. one. So when I got into pressure cooking, I bought a regular stovetop pressure cooker. Mm -hmm. I didn't really understand what I was purchasing, and I found it very difficult to yeah. get comfortable with. Sure. And then when I purchased the Instant Pot, it was like it clicked immediately. Right. There's no fear at all. It's literally press a button and go. It's right. just incredibly, you know. That's what I say, set it, forget it. I mean, feeling. I don't even set text. It and forget it. I'm in the dark ages. I don't even have a phone that allows me to text. And if you guys can text, you can use a pressure cooker. Nothing to be afraid of. I, yeah, I also do a lot of batch cooking now. Oh, that's the best. And yep. so I make rices and vegetable broth, sure. which we'll be using in this recipe. Um, it's just, it truly is. Yep. It's, it's an incredible 
um, kitchen appliance? You know, I've been teaching cooking for 15 years now, and I've been following a plant-based diet for almost 40. People say, well, I'd follow a plant, you know, I'd eat healthier, but I don't have enough money, I don't have enough time. When you get a pressure cooker, you have plenty of time because everything cooks so much more quickly, and you have plenty of money because when you cook things like beans and grains from scratch, yeah. it, it, it's... You save about half of, right, you exactly. save about 50% right. compared to what you would purchase because them for you can in the get grocery a, store. I've seen a pound of beans in the store for 49 cents a pound. Yes. It, you know, maybe not organic, but at my ethnic market, a can of beans in the store could be $1.50 yes. for, for one and a half cups. We're talking pounds yes. and pounds. So, so please consider saving money and time and yes. getting yourself a pressure cooker. You'll be glad you did. So how does it work? Okay. So you remove the lid. And we already have our vegetable broth in the Instant Pot. We warmed it up to make it to, go to make even it go a little faster. faster. And we actually made the broth from scraps in the pressure cooker with a recipe given to us by JL Fields from her book, Vegan Pressure Cooking. So thank you, JL. Yes, thank you, JL. Um, we have a pound and a half of cubed butternut squash. And if people didn't care about spending a few extra pennies, you can buy butternut squash yes, you now can. already cut up at just about every supermarket. Um, this is two cans of black beans. We like to use the salt-free black beans. Um, it just is very, you know, it's, it's just better for your brain to get used to eating foods right. that are less salty. And one, each can has one and a half cups, so if you want to cook your beans from scratch, you're going to need three cups. And when you get a pressure cooker, you can cook back black beans in, in 20 minutes, actually, yes. if you soak them. If, if you, you soak them. them. We have one cup of uncooked quinoa. Right, so dry quinoa. So this is going to be a really hearty, satisfying meal because we've got the starchy vegetables and the good whole grains. We have one large chopped onion of any variety. Right. They will all be good. You cannot mess this recipe up. I just love red onion, so and, and garlic as well, which I saw yes, go in there. Garlic yep. also. We have three cans of fire roasted diced salt-free tomatoes. I love those. I yes, love those. I've actually phenomenal. made fire roasted tomatoes myself, but it's just so convenient to be able to get them in the can. And lastly, we have. Can I smell? Yeah. I love smelling. Spices. We have cumin. We have mm. chili powder, taco seasoning, and cumin, mm. along with whatever your favorite salt-free seasoning mm -hmm. is. You know, if you don't eat salt for about 30 days, your taste buds adjust and whole natural food tastes good. Uh, honestly, it does. And most people get their salt not so much from the salt shaker, but hidden in processed food. There's yes, actually all the cans that you buy right? that are loaded with salt. There's actually more salt in bread than even in potato chips where the salt is actually on I the surface. I did not know that. Absolutely. You know why I smell this? Because you said oh, cumin. I got to tell you a funny story. I'm a lazy chef, and if there's something already available, I'll buy it. And I love roasted spices, but I'm too lazy to roast them. So luckily, you can buy a line of roasted spices at the grocery store. And roasted cumin and roasted cinnamon are my favorite. They look exactly alike. The jars look exactly alike. All it took for one day putting cumin in oatmeal, I always smell now. It is I cumin. Gotcha. It so is. you're smelling to make sure there's no cinnamon. Right. Well, cinnamon, in. Like, cinnamon might not be so bad in here, but cumin and oatmeal, guys, I'm an what adventurous chef, but it just didn't fly. So you don't even have to stir. You simply lock the lid on. I always remember it goes at 11 o'clock. That's how I remember. And this will cook for 15 minutes at pressure. High pressure. That's it. That's it. You just wait until it's cooked. How easy is that? And I'm guessing yes. with this roasted This is corn. going to go in after the chili has cooked. Right. Also, what I like to do is after the chili has cooked, I'll stir it up and I'll see how thick it is, and I'll add as much more additional vegetable broth to make it the consistency that I like to eat this chili at. It could be a little thin, it could be a little thick, depending on my Just mood. Just like people. Just <laughs> like people. But it's truly comfort food. Right. And it's delicious. Yeah, it's delicious. You know, you can roast corn yourself very easily, but what's so great is you can actually buy already frozen fire roasted corn. You know, frozen fruits and vegetables have been proven scientifically to be every bit as nutritious as fresh. So don't be afraid to use frozen fruits and vegetables, especially without salt and sugar. But I would make sure that corn, wheat, or soy, if you eat these things in your diet, always get them organic. They are the three most heavily genetically modified crops. So this looks amazing. I can't wait to taste it. So next we're going to make one of our favorite yes, recipes. Our we very call most it favorite. VFB. Come back so you understand what that stands for. It'll change your life. That's right. Life moves faster each day, and we make sacrifices just to keep up. None more so than in the kitchen. 
This hurried lifestyle means having to eat hastily thrown together meals and on the go processed foods. But who has the extra time, kitchen space or energy to create healthy family meals day after day, night after night with standard cookware? Very few. But with Instant Pot, there's an affordable solution for everyone. Instant Pot can make family meals happen with the simple push of a button. Thanks to the microprocessor controlled programming, Instant Pot is amazingly simple to use, while also safe, convenient, clean, quiet, and fast. It's a money saver, allowing you to cost effectively replace six to seven commonly used kitchen appliances. Instant Pot is a time saver. Cooking times are two to six times faster than conventional cooking methods. Instant Pot has an all-encompassing multi-cooker with up to seven functions. Instant Pot produces delicious and affordable home cooking using smart technology, which means savings on your food budget, more time to spend with your family and friends, and living a happier, healthier lifestyle. Instant Pot, tools for a new lifestyle. You know what I love about the Instant Pot, Wendy, is that if it's ready and you're busy, you just go about your business. Absolutely. You know, it waits for you. It becomes a slow cooker now. It doesn't matter how many minutes till you get to it. I mean, obviously, if you're cooking something like zucchini, you wouldn't want to leave it there for an hour. But for soups and stews and chilies, you can take it to a potluck. It's great. That's called the natural release. Right, the exactly. Cooker. But we're going to show you the quick release. And this is where people get yes. scared. Don't be so afraid. So when the, when the chili was done cooking, it made a beep. And after the beep is over, you can do the quick pressure release. Show how it's locked, though, because the people have to understand these things don't explode. Like your you cannot open you this. Cannot, you cannot Robert open this. Robert Cheek, one of the strongest <laughs> men who we've had on the show, could not open, open this. Right. Um, and the way that you are able to open it is by releasing the pressure and releasing all of the steam. You can even give yourself a high antioxidant facial while it's releasing. And how long it takes to release the pressure. Ooh, can you smell can, that? Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. The whole house smells incredible. How long it takes for the pressure to release depends on how full the contents were. So if I'm cooking some greens in the morning, it takes just a few seconds to release. But we had a full pressure cooker here, yes, so it could take a minute a or pressure. two to release. When you no longer hear steam coming out of the pressure cooker, you know that the cap is ready to come off the lid. Then it's very easy to open it up. You make sure that you open it away from yourself, just in case there's steam coming out. Did you know there was up? a little hook right there that you can put it on? <gasps> Show I did people. not I, know I, that. I've been this for four years, and I didn't even realize wow. that. Isn't that incredible? That is so cool. I'm not going to use that feature today. But it's cool, right? It's very cool. I love it. So the next thing that I do is stir in the fire-roasted corn. Yum. And I check to see what the consistency of the chili is. It's usually very, very thick, like it is today, and it's going to need uh, some additional vegetable broth. And it's okay that these ingredients are cold or even at room temperature because the chili is yes. so hot. Pressure I cooking is higher heat. I always put frozen corn into my stews mm. at the end, and it cooks it immediately. That is a delicious-looking chili. And even though there's quinoa in it, I'd probably eat it over rice. Let me put everything over rice or a potato. Mmm. And where's the butternut squash? It, it got cooked down. It huh? cooks down, yeah. This truly is a one pot meal. As should all meals be, because it's just so much easier. Oh, wow, now I see a piece of butternut squash. See some? Oh, it's so yummy. And, and Wendy, does this freeze well? Have you ever frozen it? it? I have frozen it, and it does freeze well. Great, great. Just make sure you cool it before you freeze it. I learned the hard way. And cool it before you eat it, because you could right. burn your tongue. <laughs> so you can garnish it with whatever your favorite Mexican-type garnishes mm -hmm. are. I love jalapeno peppers for sure. some delicious heat. I also am a huge fan of cilantro, so I put cilantro on pretty much just about anything that's Mexican. Cilantro is one of those things that people either love or hate. Love it or right. hate it. For some people, it tastes like soap. Yeah. For me, it tastes like heaven. What I don't understand is the people from whom it tastes like soap, how do they know what soap tastes like? That's, that's, I've never tasted soap. So. I don't know. Um, it's a little too hot to eat right now, right. so I recommend we make our next recipe before we dig in. Right. And then we'll chow down on this delicious chili. Thanks, Wendy. You're welcome. In the last segment, we alluded to VFB, which is an acronym for? Vegetables for breakfast. Which everybody in Ultimate Weight Loss Program knows. You probably think we're making dinner, but yep. we're actually making breakfast. We're going to explain why we eat vegetables for breakfast, but first I'm going to show them how easy it is to make. Couldn't be easier. I spent 43 years of my life as an obese sugar addict, didn't eat a single fruit and vegetable, and now pretty much that's all I eat. And I always hated vegetables, but the reality is, is once you eat them, you love them. And if you don't like them, it's because you don't know how to prepare them. And the best way to prepare vegetables, if you hate them, 
is to roast them. Yes, because it, it is. brings out the natural sweetness. The onions get caramelized. It's delicious. So I'm going to show you how to make one of my signature dishes and one of my favorite breakfasts, which is called oven roasted ratatouille. When I was 11 years old, I moved to California from Chicago, and I lived with my aunt and uncle. My aunt was Swiss, and her mother lived with us, and she was a graduate from the Cordon Bleu in France, and she was the most amazing chef. And she would make ratatouille. I liked it, but it was kind of mushy, and, and I just didn't love it, but I loved the components. So I decided, what if I took all the ingredients in ratatouille, which is zucchini, eggplant, tomato, bell pepper, and onion, and, onion, and roasted it? And magic occurred. Now, a lot of people say, I can't eat vegetables for breakfast. I don't have time. Sure you can. Because what I do is I cut them up the night before, and I put it in a bag. Okay. put it in a bowl. So what I have here is about three-fourths of a pound of yellow zucchini, three-fourths of a pound of green zucchini. I have one Chinese eggplant. It's about eight ounces. I have about eight ounces of bell pepper and about eight ounces of cherry tomatoes sliced in half, and either one red onion or, if it's large, about a half. And that's it. I've got my oven preheated to 400. You can go as high as 450 if you want it to go quicker. And I just put it, and that's it. And then I do whatever I'm going to do. Sometimes I even walk my dog, you know. And I want to tell you something. When you have vegetables, you usually have scraps. So from that, I had the peel of the red onion. I had the end of the bell pepper. I had the end of the eggplant, the end of the zucchini. Don't throw it out. Why? Because you can make vegetable broth from your veggie scraps. And it's delicious. You know, most broths have tons of salt and all kinds of questionable ingredients like natural flavors. What is that? Artificial flavors. And plus, even if it's good, it's like $4 a box. Absolutely. So what I do is every time I have scraps, I put it in a one-gallon bag, and I stick it in the freezer. And when this bag is full, I put it in my Instant Pot with about 10 cups of water, starting with boiling water. It would go faster. I usually put a half a teaspoon of rosemary, thyme, oregano, um, basil, maybe a couple of bay leaves, garlic if you want. This recipe, by the way, is from J.L. Fields, who wrote Vegan Pressure Cooking, yep. a brilliant recipe. We love J.L. Ten minutes, high pressure. I strain it through a paint straining bag, and I've got about 10 cups of free broth that would cost me probably $12. Plus, there's no packaging. I love thinking about the environment as well. So that's what we do to make broth. So no matter how good it looks or smells, the proof of the pudding is in the eating. How does Let's it taste? Let's try it. I love the way the onions look all caramelized, and they are. Mm. Mm. You don't need, oh my goodness. That's you delicious. really don't need any seasoning. I think I'm going to stop mm -hmm. putting herbs and spices on it. It's on its own. It's extraordinary. And you certainly don't mm. need oil. Now, don't think that's all we eat is vegetables, guys, because I want you to come right back, and we're going to end on a sweet note and show you how to make a delicious peaches and cream ice cream. So come right back. You know, whether you're on the Ultimate Weight Loss Program or any healthy eating style, that is absolutely no reason to desert dessert. I mean, I couldn't have lost these 50 pounds if I couldn't have had dessert every night. I couldn't have either. Right. So I'm going to make peach ice cream. No dairy, no sugar, no guilt. You know, growing up, peach was my favorite ice cream flavor. But there were two problems. One, it was seasonal. And two, I was allergic to dairy. So I didn't have it very often. But now, with frozen peaches available all year round, I can have it as often as I want. Yay. Yay. So in the Vitamix, I have a half a cup of non-dairy milk. I showed you guys in episode six of Healthy Living with Chef AJ how to make your own almond milk just from almond butter very inexpensively and easily. And I have a teaspoon of vanilla. I always use alcohol-free, and Mexican vanilla is my absolute favorite. So that's already in Good the blender. Good to know. Yep. So two cups of peaches. If you're a Frozen peaches. Oh, frozen peaches. Absolutely. You can use fresh, but make sure they're frozen rock hard. And if you're a person that likes exact measurements, it's eight ounces. Two bananas that have already been frozen, make sure you freeze them when they're ripe and take the peel off because you won't get it off. They're you frozen. never have to throw away a brown banana again. Never. Just peel them all, put them in Ziploc bags, and store them in your freezer. Absolutely. And I even buy them when they're, when they're cheaper. The, the produce department wants to get rid of them. So using this wonderful tamper, you turn it on. <laughs> For generations, our family has perfected authentic Mexican dishes from seasoned chicken and beef to carnitas, arroz, and barbacoa. The Cardenas family has always followed the traditions of their ancestors when it comes to cooking. From the beginning, they've created authentic Mexican dishes from scratch using recipes that have been passed down and perfected over generations. This tradition of gathering around a great meal with family and friends is what their hero, Foods, strives to pass on. From our family to yours. In less than a minute, 
you have the most delicious ice cream. Thank you. You have ever tasted. I like serving it in cute little cups. Look at how thick this is. Look at this. Fun. This is so believable. delicious. OMG. You could eat this whole thing without any guilt. I'll let you go first and okay. tell me what you think. This, and the thing is, the banana is providing sweetness. It has no taste of banana whatsoever. It tastes like peach ice cream. Mmm. That is so cold oh and refreshing gosh. on a hot summer day. Or even on a cold winter day. It's that good. Outstanding. This is so, okay. You want to make it even more decadent? Oh, uh, how? Is it well, even possible? Bima and Paz make some of the most delicious flavor infused vinegars I've ever had. This is the raspberry infused. This is like eating a sundae in your <gasps> favorite ice cream parlor. Look oh at that. It's, there is absolutely no sugar in here. You thought it was good wow. then? Oh my gosh. Try Seriously, I've never had this. Mm. Oh. That takes it to a whole nother level. Mm. Isn't it amazing? And you can get flavors like chocolate and espresso. Wow. Terrific, huh? Okay, that is serious. That's a yeah. keeper. Yep, absolutely. Oh my gosh. Wow. And you know, it's really important to not deprive yourself of healthy desserts like this. You know, my thing that I've always said, I used to be a pastry chef at a restaurant, and I didn't use any sugar, I didn't use any oil, I didn't use any salt, and I barely used flour. Eat the fruit, the whole fruit, and nothing but the whole fruit. And when you stop eating sugar, Americans eat over 150 pounds of sugar per person per year. I haven't eaten any wow. in like 15 years, so somebody out there is eating my share. Okay. And things like fruit taste absolutely, absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing. And this is so easy to mm -hmm. make. So I had a dinner party right before I came out to mm -hmm. film the show with you, and I had 10 people over for dinner, and I had no plans for dessert. I was just too busy. I couldn't get it all together. And at the last minute, after we had eaten this delicious, vegan, salt-free, oil-free, sugar-free meal, I was like, oh my gosh, I did not make dessert. And my 15-year-old daughter and I decided we were going to make everybody soft serve. And I always keep so many bananas frozen in my freezer, and I keep all sorts of other frozen fruit in my freezer. And we easily whipped up two batches. We made a cherry banana soft serve and we made a mango banana soft serve, and we wowed everybody. I, I, I know. We just wowed everybody. And all you need is, you know, you don't need like a huge bowl. You just need a little bit to taste that, that cool sweetness, and you feel yeah. like you've had That's right. a always, decadent meal. I agree. You know, I always tell the participants of the Ultimate Weight Loss Program to have something sweet, like fruit, or a fruit sorbet for dessert, brush their teeth, close the kitchen, and don't eat anymore. That's right. when the- It's the signal that the eating is done exactly, for the day. Exactly, because any eating you're doing after dinner is not hunger. Right. That's emotional eating. And if hunger isn't the problem, food isn't the solution. So end on a sweet treat, brush your teeth, close the kitchen. You don't necessarily have to go to bed, but don't eat at night. Those calories always, always get stored as fat. And that said, ending on a sweet treat, why don't we do just that? I'm very happy to. Mm, that's so good. Mm. Hi, I'm Chef AJ, the creator of the Ultimate Weight Loss Program. For over 50 years, I was either overweight or obese and suffered from food addiction and emotional eating until I learned the secret of ultimate weight loss, which I now would love to share with you. With my partner, John Pierre, a celebrity fitness and nutritional guru from Los Angeles, I created the Ultimate Weight Loss Program, which has helped thousands of our clients lose weight and feel great. And I'm one of them. I lost almost 50 pounds on the Ultimate Weight Loss Program and went from a size 14 to a size 4. I didn't have to weigh or measure my food or myself or eat thimble-sized portion to count calories or carbs. I ate all the delicious food I wanted as often as I wanted, whenever I wanted, until comfortably full, but of the right foods, and I'd love to teach you that as well. Why not join the thousands of others who have done the Ultimate Weight Loss Program? I know that I can help you have the health and the body that you deserve. So, today we made three healthy and delicious recipes that helped my guest Wendy lose over 30 pounds on the Ultimate Weight Loss Program. First, we made a hearty butternut squash and quinoa chili in the Instant Pot electric pressure cooker. It took just minutes to make. Then we made some oven roasted ratatouille. Now, I eat it for breakfast, but you can enjoy it any time of the day. And for dessert, a healthy, refreshing peaches and cream ice cream without sugar or dairy any of those additive stabilizers you normally find in ice cream, full of flavor, but without any of the guilt. Thank you so much for watching another episode of Healthy Living. I'm Chef AJ, and I make healthy taste delicious.